everyone! So today I'm really, really, really excited because I'm starting my back to school series. Yeah, it's super early, but I've been getting a bunch of requests. Like, that's my number one requested video right now is to do back to school videos. So I'm just gonna start doing it because that's what you guys want to see. Yeah, so I graduated high school this year and I thought I was like a good person to talk about advice because I did pretty well in high school and I've had friends and boyfriends and stuff, so yeah, I'm really excited to do this video. And also, if I don't answer like a question that you have or if you want to ask me a question, then leave them in the comments below about this video. If I have enough questions, I will make another video on my vlog channel because I don't want to be posting too many like back to school videos that are kind of like just extra on this channel because I already have a bunch planned, so go ahead and leave any questions that you have. So I feel like a really big concern with freshmen is like the first day of school. Don't worry about getting lost or not making friends. Just everyone is there doing the exact same thing as you are. They're, they all have the same thoughts. Like they're all worried that they might get lost and go into the wrong classroom. Most likely you'll have like an orientation day for all the incoming freshmen and they'll like show you around where all the classes are and give you a tour of the school and stuff like that. Also teachers are very very helpful for that kind of thing. They will guide you in the right direction if you're lost. I would say just keep an open mind. First impressions mean a lot at least to me and like a lot of people that I know so act yourself. Don't act like someone who you're not because it's going to be really obvious just like in all of life. Act yourself, be yourself, be open to making new friends if you want, and just be friendly and happy and outgoing. As for like makeup and outfits and stuff, I would just say go natural, don't overdress yourself, just act or dress how you would for the rest of the school year. So I'm going to talk about like social advice first before I go into like academic advice because this is really applicable to everyone going into freshman year. The biggest thing that I wish I had known my freshman year and I wish my friends had known <laughs> their freshman year is to not idolize upperclassmen. Looking back I don't know what it is about upperclassmen but as like an underclassman you kind of just idolize upperclassmen. I don't know I don't know if that's for everyone. But the trouble with idolizing someone is that obviously you have a lot of respect for them and you want to be just like them and you want to do all these things and this can go for a girl or a boy you just want to please that person and this obviously has a lot of negative consequences um, for instance they can easily take advantage of you or have a lot of influence over you so this can be good or bad if you're idolizing the wrong type of person then this influence can be very bad realize that these are just people they're nothing special about them unless they're like a great person and you're idolizing them for all the right reasons but just know that two years will come and they'll be gone and you don't need to please these people just because you think they're popular and cool. So yeah, this was really serious. I'm not sure how well that got across because I was really trying to sift through these like really jumbled thoughts as you guys can tell. But I hope that kind of came across as like what I was trying to get across. And of course, if you have any questions, look. Just leave them below. I'm like super jumbled right now. Now going along with that, I would say before you get into high school, before you even like attend the first day of school, sit down with yourself and kind of set some boundaries and standards. Just evaluate your morals and standards because if you don't have any, you don't have anything that the sky's the limit for you. You need to set your limit with your own morals that you've gained from your parents or your religion or school or like, I don't know, anything. You just need to make sure that you have them and that you know what your limits are. Then you never go past a point and you never feel terrible about yourself if you just recognize what you know that you should and should not do. So moving on from that social aspect, those are kind of all the bad things about high school, but trust me, there are some really, really good things about high school. It's a very great time to meet new friends and just, it's a really good experience if you make it. A good experience um, but those were all the serious points that I really wanted to touch on. My favorite part moving on to the academics. I have to shut my computer because it just fell asleep and it's really annoying. Okay so academics. So this is just advice that I have for doing well and setting yourself up for success. Um, the first thing that I have is challenge yourself academically and choose the classes that will challenge you. Freshman year was actually really really difficult for me because I had just entered like the highly gifted program of my school. I was someone who had to work really hard for their grades in high school so just because you think you're not smart doesn't mean that you can't do well in school. That's something that I had to get through my head because I wasn't the smartest one in any of my classes. Um, I was just like really average 
but I passed with like really good grades because I worked so hard. So just know that you can do as good as anyone else. You can do as you can do better than the smartest person in the class if you just work hard. So just know that and challenge yourself academically. Take the hardest classes you can and this will really set you up for success um, later on like when you're choosing for colleges and stuff. Another thing that goes along with that is you have to learn to adjust. Freshman year is going to be different for you socially and academically. Be in the mindset that you will have to adjust to your surroundings. Like it will not be easy or it might be easy, I'm not sure, but if you're taking hard classes, you have all this new stuff going on, you're in a new environment, just know that it'll take some time and that you just have to learn. Just keep pushing through and you can adjust with some time. The next piece of advice is something that I know that a lot of seniors wish they had done, like in my year, is to take your academics seriously in freshman year. Looking back on it, you do not want to have like your first C or D in your freshman year because then you're going to have to spend the rest of your high school career, once you decide to take yourself or your academics seriously, um, you're going to have to spend that time compensating for your freshman year. Colleges look at your GPA and it's a collective GPA so it counts from your freshman year through your senior year. So take it seriously, don't act like it's not a big deal because it is. I would say freshman and sophomore year are definitely the easiest years of high school so take advantage of that and get good grades and this will also give you the momentum you need to get good grades throughout high school. So those are like the biggest tips that I have for setting yourself up for success your freshman year. So yeah, gone to the next section. This is like kind of like the miscellaneous like extra advice section. The first piece of advice that I have is try to make friends with a staff member. You want someone that you can talk to in high school. This helped me immensely. My senior year, I had a terrible teacher. She had something against me, I don't know what. I told her that I made YouTube videos and I think that she thought that was really weird. So she knew that I made videos. She knew that my videos obviously meant a lot to me because I wrote my like college essay on it. And she kind of mocked me like throughout like the semester that I had with her because I didn't like take her class again. You never want to feel like mocked or just like ridiculed from your teacher who you like who's like supposed to be a figure of authority and basically what happened is that I did this assignment really well it was um a seminar and I like definitely deserved like what's called like a five star that's like an A plus and she gave me like a four and I was just it just didn't make any sense and like everyone around me was just like what it was like my tipping point for that class like I had had so many problems with her she had like made fun of me in front of my face it was just really a weird situation I saw the grade that she gave me and she was like watching me like check my grade and I was just like this doesn't make any sense like you're just like you're just like a weird person so I was super upset so I left her class and immediately went down to my counselor who was like one of my best friends in high school <laughs> um, because I knew that I could talk to my counselor about it and she could like help me with my problem if I didn't have my counselor I literally would have had nowhere to go I would have like walked out of her class been super upset, probably had driven home, and then like been marked truant or something from school. So having someone to talk to in school, like having a, an adult that you can talk to about your problems that are school related, whether it be like teachers that bully you or students that bully you or just like anything, is really really helpful. So I would highly recommend trying to find someone that you feel comfortable with that you know that you can go to talk to. Another thing as a freshman is definitely join a lot of sports and clubs as many as you possibly can. Once you're like an upperclassman it's just a lot harder to join a sport especially or like a club that you weren't already a part of. It's just kind of weird. Um, there are like already established cliques in those sports and it's just like a lot harder. This is also a really really good way to make friends. Um, and to just get like a sport going for the rest of high school. The last piece of advice that I have as a freshman is go out and volunteer. Find an organization that you're passionate about and volunteer for them. I started volunteering at the Imaginarium Discovery Center at the Anchorage Museum like four years ago I think um, and I volunteered there every single week for five hours a week. For me volunteering was probably one of the best things that I could have done. I wasn't super into sports or like clubs or anything so I felt really comfortable there like that was my place and my sense of belonging was like with the Imaginarium community. I got a job through volunteering and I had that job for two years and it was like the best job that I could have it was the best like first real job that I possibly could ever ask for. It had a ton of benefits. You feel better about yourself for helping your community and your community really benefits from it. Um, there are just like so many benefits from volunteering but also another thing is that colleges really look for 
community service nowadays um, and they also look for commitment. So if you start in your freshman year and you are committed to that organization and you keep volunteering, they'll see that you have a commitment to or that you can make a commitment, that you're dedicated, and also um, those people that you volunteer with or your like supervisors, I don't know what they call it, volunteer coordinators, can write you a letter of recommendation and that's where I got like my best letter letters of recommendation was from my boss who also was like my volunteer coordinator. So definitely pick an organization that you're passionate about that you would want to spend four years at and just volunteer there. So that's all the advice that I have. This is probably a I just spit. Okay. Be sure to leave any questions that I didn't answer in the comments and then I will potentially make a video about it on my blog channel, so go subscribe to that and I will see you guys later. Bye. And everything is going to the beat. And everything is going to the beat. And everything is going to So this is going to be my morning routine, summer edition. So this entire summer I've been waking up super super late like at